And that's what he meant by I am the Father of one. That you know that who you are is a beautiful creation of God. Perfect, eternal, changeless. So these gatherings are a lot of fun for me because I feel like it's always brand new. Uh, even though I've been doing them for like 13 years, um, I every question seems like it's the first question and I don't ever really have a sense of the past. So it's always brand new. And it's like a child with a sense of wonder. Um, so it doesn't matter what culture I go to or what country I'm in or whatever, you know, the smile is a universal language and there's so much that's conveyed just in our sharing the joy and the presence of God that really doesn't have anything to do with, uh, you know, theology and stuff like that. So, here I am and it's my weekend. Welcome. Thank you. And we have plenty of authors who have a microphone, so uh, apparently we have a video tape and we have a sound, so if you have a question or comment, just let me know that you will be the rolling microphone. Person. Person. No, I can be the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I am everything. So you're the microphone. <laughs> there we go. Uh, was there a point in Britain, uh, Lenny, uh, I'll take that. Was there a point, uh, when you, uh, in your line where you, uh, made a total commitment to God? It's like a, a time when, uh, you can distinguish that you made a big shift and quit trying to, uh, to, uh, identify with your conceptual self and totally make a total commitment to uh, follow the guidance and, and surrender to God. Yeah, I think the one of the things just seemed to be around 1991 when, I mean, I've been in the course and was having all kinds of mystical experiences and everything, but I pretty much, the, the voice was just saying that in order to remain constantly happy, I would have to be completely disidentified from everything in this world and completely identified with God. And that, that's the way I would be defenseless and be joyful and happy no matter what the situation. So that would not identify with the person of David or any particular group. Uh, in the end, not even to identify with the Course of Miracles. And I've had some beautiful lessons around that over the years where I was at a a bookstore, a woman said, can I see your Course in Miracles book? And it was all worn out. And you can bring the, the gold letters were worn out of it. And she just took it and it was, reminded me of a Peter Sullivan movie, a Pink Panther movie, where, you know, can I make your coats and tie the car and you know, drive it off. And as soon as I answered my Course she was gone. She was like, she's out the door. And, I went, and she was gone for about a minute and she came back and she put it back in my hand and she said, Thank you. 